of it yesterday, it's not just a headache. These people are miserable and incapacitated because of symptoms that they have that go beyond headache, neck pain, uh, feeling fatigue, uh, chronic nausea. We've seen women lose 60 pounds in a year from vomiting six to eight times a day. Uh, the ringing in the ears, the neurologic confusion. And this is somebody who did that 48-hour flap test. Most of you were introduced to this yesterday. We ask people um, to basically, when they go to bed on Friday night, before they go to bed, to rate their symptoms of head pain, neck pain, nausea, difficulty with thinking, concentration and memory, tinnitus, and fatigue, the core symptoms of a leak. And then when they wake up on Saturday morning, instead of waking up and starting their day, they go to the bathroom, they get back to being flat in bed, stay in bed all day Saturday. Do the same thing Sunday night. Wake up Sunday morning, stay flat in bed. Uh, then when you get up at about 5 p.m. on Sunday, you rate those symptoms again. Before you get up, before 48 hours flat, after 48 hours flat. And then, just for good measure, we have them rated again two hours after getting upright. That had the dural puncture that was out there for 18 months before we figured it out. Another MRI that was normal and what you look like after getting patched. Imagine if we'd have stopped because all those people had normal MRIs. And that was my daughter when she was leaking, and that's her now. We've seen the leaks diagnosed and misdiagnosed as chronic migraine, chronic daily headache, new daily persistent headache, Chiari, POTS. We've seen it misdiagnosed as chronic fatigue. We've seen it misdiagnosed as traumatic brain injury. I had this trauma. I hit my head, now I've got headache and dizziness and I don't think the same way I used to. My MRI is negative, oh, maybe that's a traumatic brain injury or maybe that's post-concussive syndrome. Except POTS, none of those should get better with prolonged flatness. If you really have a brain injury, being flat for a weekend shouldn't make things any better. If you really have post-concussive syndrome, being flat shouldn't make things any better.